Dann äh, die meisten kennt ihr vielleicht schon. Wir fangen nochmal von hier vorne von der Seite an. Vorneweg haben wir erstmal die zwei Slopestyle Mountainbiker. Das sind äh, Darren Bergloff und äh, Peter Henke habe ich hier. Dann im Moto X unterwegs, im Speed and Style Matt Rebeau. Dann ein weiter, ebenfalls im Moto X unterwegs, im äh, Step Up. Right, you're doing Step Up this year. Perfect. Lieber Portmoll und die Dame im Bunde hier. Also zumindest, ich glaube international auch, aber gerade in Deutschland, sie gilt als eine der besten Enduro-Fahrerinnen oder die beste Enduro-Fahrerin der Welt und die Titel bescheinigen das auch aus der Dielheim Steffi Leier. Herzlich willkommen. Schön, dass ihr alle da seid und euch die Zeit genommen habt. Ähm, ich würde sagen, Steffi, wir fangen mal bei dir drüben an. Schnapp dir ein Mikrofon. Guys, do you, do you want to be involved? In what she's saying? Yeah, you want to be. Okay, let's do it in English then. Perfect. Steffi, you're, you're one of the most successful Moto X riders out there. Um, How did she get into it? Yes, I think it's like everybody has that. Um, my dad was an amateur rider. When I was uh, a kid, I was always with uh, to his races. When I was uh, four years old, I became a Yamaha 50cc, so I started. Um, but for, with the age of four, I was not allowed to ride races in Germany to this time. So I practiced for one year. With the age of five, I rode my first championship races, and already in the first year, I, um, I think I ended top three, and yeah, I kept practicing and I became better and better, and yeah, so I clinched more titles. A natural. You clinched more titles, you got several worlds and Europeans, and you gave your X Games debut in Los Angeles um, with an eighth place. So, what are the expectations for Munich? It's sort of, it's, it's from a local point, it's not the home crowd, but it's the German crowd, so it's your home crowd here. It's actually a pretty difficult question because honestly I didn't practice at all anything yet because uh, in Germany there are not really much possibilities to practice endurance because uh, this year I made my comeback to the motocross world championship and uh, since now I'm pretty busy with this I just came back from Italy and Slovenia I need to go back in two weeks to Croatia with this so in between there is now the X Games so I try my best I hope I can do or I can reach top three or yeah like everybody wants a medal I also want the medal I know it's difficult because of no practice but I try my best maybe I can do good because of my experience of previous years busy woman absolutely the other German we got standing up here Peter mountain bike anderer Bereich du arbeitest noch ein bisschen mehr selber äh, mit den Beinen interesting constellation here actually with those three guys so, where's Mark? So, Mark built the cores. Marcus that... Hample. Where's it? Marcus Hample. Marcus Hample, where is he? Uh, he's out building. Oh, he's, he's out building. Okay. <laughs> so, he's, he's busy, he couldn't come. So, so Marcus Hample built the cores that Darren designed and Peter qualified on for the X Games here. Um, which course was that? Welche um, course war das? Das war bei der Rappelberg in Winterberg. Das ist einer der, der größten Contests äh, in Deutschland und es waren riesen Sprünge, war ein Hammer Kurs und ich wollte Sechster und habe somit halt den Schritt zu X Games geschafft, habe eine Wildcard bekommen ja, und bin jetzt hier und freue mich riesig darüber. Hast du dir hier schon mal so ein bisschen äh, angeguckt, was dich erwartet? Ja, ich bin vorhin den Kurs mal abgelaufen, sieht echt groß aus, aber sieht alles auch sehr safe gebaut aus, die Landungen sind schön breit und ja, alles ist super, super gebaut und wie immer von Markus und ich denke, da werden wir richtig gute Tricks sehen. Ja. Es ist ja ein ganz, ganz uh, starkes Feld, das ihr habt. Also es kommt wirklich, Darren, you said it earlier, all the, uh, the big hitters, the heavy hitters are coming. Um, ruhig die Frage, sorry, du, du hast die Frage trotzdem noch an, an Peter. Jetzt hier die Premiere, was sind die Erwartungen, die du selber an dich so stellst? Um, es erstmal zu genießen auf jeden Fall, als eigenes Deutscher hier starten zu dürfen und natürlich ins Finale zu kommen und dann werden wir sehen, was geht. Aber das Startelfeld ist echt krass in die 16 besten Fahrer der Welt und da wird es schon schwer, weiter nach vorne zu kommen, aber wir werden sehen, wie es läuft. Darren, I was just asking uh, Peter about his expectations here, with all the heavy hitters here in his premiere at the X Games. Um, you've been around a little more. Um, you've, you've seen a lot. I'm most impressed by your uh, broken back in 2011. Um, Is that really that impressive? 
It is. is it? Well, it's, impre not, it's not impressive to break it, but it's impressive to come back in 2012 and the only comment being, it happens. Yeah, you know, uh, injuries happen. You know, it's a tough sport. We like to fall down every once in a while, so you gotta get back up and keep her going. Um, as I said, we, you, or you said, it's the 16 uh, top guys here um, on, on the slope on Sunday, I believe. Yep. What are your personal expectations for the day? Uh, same thing as every other contest, just get out there and have some fun and uh, hang out with these boys and put on a good show. From here on, you're going to Leogan, there's another event, yeah, and you're going to meet some of the guys. Does the whole like, feeling them out start and, and all that, or is it it's just from event to event? In terms of feeling... Just see, you know, how good their shape is and if there's any new tricks or anything, or if they got the, the top tricks down. Uh, everyone's pretty much been killing it all year. It's, you know, we've already had the one event, Bergline, so everyone uh, has kind of came out and threw all their tricks down, so it's uh, pretty unanimous what everyone's going to be throwing and having a good time. Well, I hope you, you all stay healthy and we come here and get shape and have a good time. Yeah, it was sure a great fun. show. I'm sure you will. Matt. Yep. Pass the Matt microphone. <laughs> but back, back to the Moto X. And for you, it's speed and style. And you've been pretty successful this year. Um, tell us a little bit about your season. Yeah, so far it works pretty good for me. I got uh, already two medals, one bronze and one silver. And uh, of course, I miss the gold and I uh, hope that will be for the next weekend. <laughs> so it's been uh, bronze in uh, Brazil. Bronze in Brazil. Silver in Barcelona. Yeah. Gold in Munich. I know, we, we, that would be tough. Uh, it's pretty cool since um, the Red Brick Spiders in uh, in Japan, he's been three weeks than than I'm at uh, at home and practicing, especially for the seven. I'm feeling good and super motivated. For once, you know, Switzerland is very uh, very close, and I hope a lot of uh, Swiss uh, fans will come and uh, and give me some power to to get the, to get this medal. You say it finally, it's really close. You know, it's a small circuit, um, the Moto X and everything. Do you have a rough idea how many days a year you're out on the road? Um, no, I think it's better to not know. <laughs> but uh, no, for sure, it's pretty cool. Like for once, I don't have uh, any jet lag. Then I think that would be pretty cool compared to all the American guys who will be tired and uh, you know I will be fit and all good. <laughs> you, you, you said you've been especially practicing for the event, and you're known for your flip uh, flip combos, for example. Are we going to see something new? Oh, that's top secret. It's too <laughs> early. Well, it's, you know, it's all family, so I thought I yeah, at least, sure I at least give it a try. You no, know. like, for sure, like, um, I got some special stuff, uh, but we see that's next week. Yeah, you can't fool that guy. Damn it. All right. Since I'm not getting any answers, give Lib Libor the microphone. <laughs> Perfect. Libor, welcome to you as well, of course. The first. Chet Ryder to medal at the X Games. You. <laughs> does that make it especially nice, or does that not count? It's it's just cool to have the medal, anyways. No, it's cool to have a medal for sure, and it's cool to be the first guy from Czech to have a medal. It was wow, wow, amazing. Absolutely. Does does it give you an extra um, boost with the home crowd as well, or like in terms of popularity? Yeah, for, uh, yeah, for sure. Well, uh, you know, everyone is watching the X Games who's involved in action sports, so it was awesome. It was uh, just great. Yeah, I got a lot of like good news, a lot of messages like, whoa, you made it to X Games, whoa, you got a medal, whoa. <laughs> you say it, yeah, you got, you, you got the medal, you got the bronze in Brazil. What color is it here in Munich? Um, I don't know, yeah, I hope for the best. You know, uh, step up is cool because I think we have all of us have a chance to win, you know, there is no judges, so it's just all about us and that, that bar which we have to jump over, so we'll see. Try my best for sure, like everyone else. How, how is it with you guys? You know, you get to travel a lot or see each other a lot at different events and so on. Is the whole circuit, is it like a small family or is there athletes that are just very much focused on themselves? Or is it, is it still, you know, it's not being a professional sport, the the hang loose and kind of cool lifestyle image that the people see outside. Yeah, I think it's, it's like that, you know. I know some like athletic sport guys and they more don't like each other as we like each other more, yeah. I think. Like because we party together more, I think that's make us, our relationships pretty good too. 
So, <laughs> man, how does it work with like you know freestyle and step up and dur and all? Are you mocking each other? Who, who's the toughest athlete? No, I think we have all respect for everyone. I think everybody uh, worked very hard to compete, and uh, but for sure, I think uh, on a sports party, it's very important too. Then, uh, for, of course, during the competition, we are very focused and sometimes not too nice. But in the end, everybody is uh, is a friend, and uh, we go all together as a party, and we forget about what's happened on the competition. Is it, is it just amongst uh, motocross uh, guys, or is it, for example, it's, it's all the same? So when you travel, it's just a hell of a lot of fun. Always. A hell of a lot of fun. Well, I had a hell of a lot of fun, and we got a lot of great answers. Uh, I know you all got your individual answers, uh, questions.